Hi, I'm Paula from MeMakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a felt dog. So I have two little dogs right here. I have this, they're both little Scotty dogs and one of them is a three-dimensional dog and the other one is just a flat two-dimensional dog. And I'm going to show you uh, how to make this one. They're actually made off the same pattern, but if you've never done this before, putting together these pieces is a little more complicated and might be confusing. So to start with, if it's your first one, I would do a just a little flat guy like this one. So the first thing you need to do is find a pattern. There are some commercially available or you can do a search on the internet and there are a lot of them out there that you can either purchase or uh, use for free. So I found a pattern that I liked and then what I did is I traced it onto freezer paper. And that is just your regular freezer paper that you get in the grocery store. It's like paper on one side and the other side has kind of a plasticky coating. And this works great to cut your pattern out without having to pin it down. All you have to do is put it down there and take a, a hot iron and you iron it onto the felt and the plastic melts just enough to stick it down onto your paper which makes it very easy then to take your scissors and just cut around your pattern like that. So I have a couple that I've already cut out here and you can see how easily the paper just will come right off of there. And if you don't hold your iron down very long, it will come off, it, it doesn't stick hardly at all. So you want to experiment a little bit to get just the right temperature. I will tell you that this felt, the craft felt is a synthetic material and a hot iron will burn, will burn it. As you can see, I have a little bit on my iron. I've been doing a lot of felt work. So I'll have to clean that off before I iron any clothes with it. Anyways, that comes off very easily. Then the next thing you're going to do is put it together. And what I have used here is a blanket stitch. Um, you can use a whip stitch like I did on the outside of this little doggy here. And that's just where you go just around and around like this. Uh, sometimes people will use, I used embroidery thread because I wanted this thread to show. Sometimes people will use just regular, uh, sewing thread like this and if you match the color of the of the, your felt then you don't see the stitching at all but i wanted to see a little decorative stitching here so i'm going to show you a couple of stitches here how the blanket stitch is done you come in just a little bit down from where you where your last stitch was and then what you do is slip it right back underneath that thread then you go over again and then slip it back underneath that thread right there. And there are a lot of uh, videos and um, diagrams and things like that available all over the internet and any good fabric store will have uh, something about how to do embroidery stitch stitches as well. So I'm just going to stuff him with some stuffing I have right here. This is a synthetic uh, type of stuffing you can buy at the, at the craft store, the fabric store. Some people recommend cotton stuffing because they're able to, uh, it does, it's not as slippery. This kind of, when you stick your finger in there, it's, you can feel it push down and it kind of rubs against itself and slips back. So it's a little bit harder to pack the stuffing into it. But uh, this works okay and it happened to be what I had on hand. So I decided to use this for this project. Sometimes I use the end of the scissors to get him get stuffed back in there. I got it a little bit tight there. But anyways, looks like I need a little bit more stuffing, but I would just uh, do the blanket stitch down the end of the side until it's, it's at the end of the stitching here and tie a knot in it. And then I would have this guy. And then I added a little ribbon and uh, sewed a little button on there just for a little decorative collar. So that is how you make a felt dog. This is Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.